Hey, Shiva Rajaya again here from vitalcoaching.com and we are talking about the chakras. We're still within the vital tantra system and there is a lot to say about uh, the third eye this time. Mm. This is the third eye, Ajana. It's right there. Ajana. Can you feel your third eye? I can, but I can see yours. You can see mine. I can see yours and I can feel mine. Look. Yes, yes. See, I put uh, some symbols on my third eye when I wake up in the morning. Mm. You know why I do that? To activate it, exactly. I'm guessing. <laughs> to activate it. Because I like having my chakras awake. Mm. Or I don't like when they are sleeping. No. It's much more fun to have your chakras which are like mm. buzzing with energy. So when you give, you, if I put a symbol on your third eye, what's, what's going to happen is that um, I'm going to give a certain intention. Mm. It's like it's a message to your spirit. So the spirit is very clear. It says, oh, here I'm getting some instructions here. Uh, Shiva is telling me to, uh, to start working on that. Mm. So it's like I'm actually instructing your energy body mm. to start working on something. So for instance, yeah. you know, if I draw a little heart here, everybody will be looking at you and will be like, oh my God, so cute, little heart. So your whole day will be focused on the heart vibration. Yeah, or even a little jewel like a lot of people wear on exactly. the third eye exactly. or the dot in, in India. Exactly. Um, I often put oil myself. I often put a bit of oil on whatever chakra I want to activate for the day. Exactly. So, um, you know, it's it's a very powerful thing to simply uh, keep, keep that in mind. Mm. So, um, I'm just going to give a, a couple of techniques on the, you know, third eye activation. Uh, the the thing that happens with, um, with third eye is that we have an ability to focus really well on the third eye area. Mm. It's much easier to focus on the third eye than to focus on the bottom of, of your spine, mm. you know, in a, in a way. So, third eye has yeah. been uh, a set of uh, initiation that people have been transmitting in spiritual traditions for a long time. Mm. You know, very often when you go to a teacher or a guru, he's going to give you first the third eye technique. Because once you have the third eye, you open your inner vision and you start seeing the dynamics of life. This is, this is the, the quality of the third eye. It's really magical because once you start meditating on there, and I remember after three months of, of practice on, with a very specific mantra, that I was really seeing the dynamics of life. Mm. It was really like a revelation process, like seeing my mind opening up to the reality of who we are mm. as human beings and understanding what's go what goes on behind the veil of yeah. the physical existence. So, And the third eye is very connected to the pineal gland mm -hmm. for this activation. Yeah, mm. exactly. So, um, yeah, what you can do to activate your third eye is, uh, you know, put a little red dot on, mm -hmm. on your forehead, for instance, but there are lots of other techniques. So the technique that I want to give you today is simply to use the word Ajana. Ajana, Ajana. is the name of the third eye. Mm. If you go in Sanskrit, very often it's, it's more like said Ajna, but, you know, I give it my own flavor, which is fine, okay? <laughs> so you can use the word Ajana. Ajana. You can close your eyes and repeat that internally. And if you like, you can add your name. Mm. Or if, you, if you are called Paul or Charlie or uh, Robert, you go Ajana Robert, Ajana. And, and so what, what the spirit goes, it says, okay, Robert needs attention in this, mm. this third eye area. And uh, you will see it works really well. Like for instance, mm. my, the name that I use for my own activation is Rajaya. So I go Ajana. Something that works really well is to combine that with the breathing as well. It means that when you breathe and you focus on the in and out um, feeling of the air coming in and out of your nose, it brings attention in this area as well. So it that's the focuses the attention more, eh? Yeah, exactly. Mm. So this is the first uh, technique for your third eye activation. Um, I would say that in the beginning, maybe three minutes, four minutes, five minutes practice, you know, daily, you wake up in the morning and you're like, okay, and uh, if focusing on the word itself, on the mantra is already too much, you can just relax and just bring your subtle attention to this point. Mm. 